As the country begins to reopen, colleges are actively planning what a return to campus this fall would look like. This, of course, amid fears of a possible second wave of the virus also this fall. According to a survey of more than 800 schools by the Chronicle for Higher Education, about two-thirds of colleges say they are planning for an in-person semester this fall. About 27 percent are still deciding what to do or are proposing a hybrid model. Only 7 percent are planning for an entirely online semester. Purdue president and former Indiana Governor Mitch Daniels advocated for his school's return in The Washington Post, writing this, quote, 45,000 young people are telling us they want to be here this fall. To them, sorry, we are too incompetent or too fearful to figure out how to protect your elders, so you have to disrupt your education would be a gross disservice to them and a, de and a default of our responsibility. For more, I am joined by the president of Howard University, Dr. Wayne A.I. Frederick. Um, Dr. Frederick, I want to read you something that another college president said who does not believe there should be reopenings of schools right now. This is uh, Michael Sorrell. He is the president of Paul Quinn College in Dallas. He said, because of the manner in which most residential colleges are operated, these institutions cannot use traditional face-to-face -face instructional methods and expect anything other than an unacceptable rate of disease transmission. How do you think about that? What do you think of what he's arguing there? Yeah, you know, I, I think the key is that we have to follow some of the public health guidelines. I think one of the things that uh, is important is exactly what you just showed earlier on your show. We have to look at what hospitalizations, testing ability, and those types of things are in our specific area. And I think if we do that, and we have appropriate plans, and we follow the social distancing, uh, we have a hybrid, we uh, have people wearing masks, I think we, we can. Uh, where appropriate, uh, be able to come back to that. The other thing I would point out is that there are about 90 days between now and the start of uh, school in the fall. If we look back 90 days from where we are today, uh, what was taking place uh, with respect to the pandemic was very different. And I think what the situation we will be in 90 days from now, um, we hope will be very different, especially around testing and our ability to contact trace in particular. I'm curious, you talk about the need for social distancing in any form of opening on campus. How do you, it's a college, there's thousands of kids, there's dorms, certainly there's they're typically roommates. Is, does that change? The cafeteria, um, kids gathering in the lounge in the dorm. How do you enforce social distancing on a college campus? So I, I, think, I think a lot of things will change. I think what we have to think of is, yes, we will have um, uh, students in residence halls with roommates, but we have to talk to them about hygiene, hand washing, um, about wearing masks, where more than five people, you know, where they may be outside of their room and gathering with other people. I think all of those things will change. I think our society has changed already. And even when we do open back up, I think you will see a significant difference in how we all interact in many spheres. And so we all are going to have to come out at some point, and it will not be what it was like before. There will be a new reality. But that's what our university should be about. We should be about trying to innovate what that change looks like and how we accommodate that change. And I think with the younger people we'll bring back, uh, we need to give them an opportunity to demonstrate their responsibility. One last thing I'll say is, especially at Howard, uh, some of the students that we bring here, Howard University is their safe home and their safe place. And we have to consider that as well, that opening is not just about providing an education to them, but in some circumstances, not very few, but more than we would like, how it is actually the safest place for them to be in the fall.